the block of wood that you get with the Pinewood Derby car looks like this. Little block of wood, and you're supposed to make something real fancy out of this. Kind of like Michelangelo. You got to find the car in this block of wood. This particular block of wood apparently contains an eagle that I have to discover. Now one of the first things I did when I decided I was going to try to make a Pinewood Derby car the first time is I went out and bought a bunch of wood carving tools. Problem with wood carving tools is that you have to know what to do with them. Which I quickly discovered. You, you open up something and it looks like this. And uh... And uh, you got all these interesting looking sharp things and... I don't know what to do with them. They're great for cutting off a whole chunks of stuff at once. Usually that meant stuff that I didn't want to cut off. In the end, the most valuable tool I found for making Pinewood Derby cars was the Dremel tool. And this one has a snake on it, so I can do fine detail. Usually I use some sort of little sandpaper bit on the end, because it just kind of takes a little bit off at a time. Of course, you do need to rough it out first with like a scroll saw or a bandsaw or something, because if you had to cut all that stuff off with just this little sandpaper thing, it would take you years. And you'd go through a lot of those sandpaper things. So the first step is you take the picture that you drew and then you try to paste it on there to give you some guides. Something else I should point out is that I tend to not use the little, the little grooves that they make for the wheels. I tend to cut my own holes. I got a little... In a moment of desperation last year I got a little jig to cut the holes because I was so frustrated because those holes aren't always exactly square and a square hole makes a huge difference in the speed. Now one of the hard things about the Batmobile is that the car is a little bit wider than the block of wood. Like, a lot wider. If you can see here, I put the block of wood on top of it and it's, it's too wide. We're gonna have to put some more wood on the outside to make this thing work. I'm just going to use a 2x4. 2x4 that I found hanging around in the garage. A little piece of one. And I'm just going to have to cut little strips and then make them the right size and shape them and then glue them on. Okay. I think that looks probably pretty good. So I'm going to cut this next part on the scroll saw because it's a little bit easier and I can see what I'm doing and I'm, don't, I'm, afraid, I'm not afraid of chopping off my fingers. And one of the hard parts that I almost forgot about is I got to cut a little hole for the wheel in these fenders so that the wheel can fit in. And if you don't do that, you're in big trouble. Because after you glue it on, then you'd have to cut it all out and it'd be really messy. It's way easier to do that before you glue the fender on. And I almost messed that one up. All right, so I made all the little fenders with the wheel cutouts. Kind of hard work because they're a little small and, and you, they're really thin, so you risk just cutting them off. But fortunately, I didn't this time, so that's good. Still hate the Pinewood Derby, but we're doing okay. Now, this is the part that I hate. Wait, no, I think I hate the whole thing. But this part, I kind of hate a lot more because there's so much opportunity to mess up when you're trying to glue this stuff together. If you mess it up, if you glue it wrong, you try to sand it, you could screw up everything. Already I'm seeing some flaws in there, but... So I put the, put the two fenders on. Now I'm going to put these two things on there to to make it all flat and then glue it. I glued them together. I'm gonna to put clamps on it, let it sit for about 24 hours and then see how we go from there. It's all glued, clamped up. Doesn't look too bad, it'll probably be okay. 